What is up, YouTube's Mountain Man Magic, and check it out. Walking through the Dollar Tree the other day, and I saw they had this shelf of cards, and they had baseball cards and basketball cards, which I loved collecting as a kid. And then I noticed they had this generic, just trading cards box, and I noticed some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So I started looking through it a little bit, and I found five of these 20-card booster packs for Magic the Gathering. And I thought, why not pick them up, five bucks, and make a video of it. So here's to finding some Power 9. Hoping it pays back for our investment. Let's get into it. Now, as we can see here, we have five of these booster packs, and they read, the enclosed genuine collectible trading cards have been legally purchased and repackaged for retail sale by Pristine Marketing, Inc. So, I have no idea who Pristine Marketing, Inc. is but I'm going with my gut that they don't know what Power 9 is and that we're going to make at least double our money back. Ooh, let's, let's have some fun. Let's see what Dollar Tree hooks us up with. Swarm Surge, okay. I wonder if these packs are even going to have rares. They got uncommons. That's kind of cool. Compelling Argument. Whoa, that's in... So they got chances at older cards. Not too bad. Another uncommon. Sky Sif. Sunscorched Champion. Wait, let's... I just Okay, sorry. I just want to separate these out. Let's see how many commons we get versus uncommons. I don't even know... I think this is really showing my expertise here. I'm more just impressed that they have older cards in this. That's such good artwork. Look at that artwork. I'm just putting that in the uncommon because it's old and I like it. Okay, Eye Blight Assassin, Servo Exhibition, Angel of the God Pharaoh, Tormenting Voice, Toils of Night and Day. No, that's a common. Griffin Sentinel, Demon's Horn. Okay. Initiate Companion and Trespasser's Curse. Okay, so it would appear that we are not guaranteed a rare, but we got a pretty decent amount of uncommons. I think that pack at least paid for 10 times itself, so so far our investment is definitely paying off. Ooh, what's this fancy card? Okay, Arborback Stomper, Altar's Reap, Iron Rite Cleansing, Lay of the Land, another sweet set symbol that I'm not familiar with, CN. Chronicles. I don't know. Y'all can tell me what that is. We got some oh, Oath of the Gatewatch. That's what those are. Ixalan. Inventor's Apprentice. Ruinous Gremlin. Siegecraft. Is that cons? Yeah, cons of Takir. And then right with it is Spider Silk Net. Some Dragons of Takir action. Amperin Tactician. Good old OG. I think it's OR. Origins. Seeker of Insight. McKindy Slide Runner. This is a sweet name. Battle for Zendikar, what up? Ooh, this is a cool card. Trap Jaw Kelpie. I don't think it's winning us any tournaments, but it's a nice looking card. Roughshod Mentor. Giving green creatures haste, what up? Heavy Arbalist. Cool. Haze of Pollen. Seeker of Insight. Okay, so it would appear that we're definitely not. We shouldn't be banking on rares, but maybe they don't know what the set symbols are for alpha and beta and unlimited, so maybe we'll get lucky and they'll just accidentally throw one of those in. Sweet Uncommon, Lead the Stampede, Territorial Bayloth, Ingenious Scab or Scob, Frontline Devastator, Frilled Sandwalla, Ooh, Phyrexian Warbeast. Is this... It's not Legends. What is this? Arabian Nights. Phyrexian Warbeast. Sweet old card. Putting it in the uncommon section. Reckless Racer. Angelic Gift. These packs were angelic gifts. Shadow Cloak Vampire. Crowd's Favor. Ooh. What set are you? Cold Snap? Or Ice Age? I think Cold Snap. Rhymebound Dead. Could be Ice Age, though. <laughs> Ooh, wait. Is this... Yeah, snow permanent. So you need snow-covered lands to regenerate Rhymebound Debt. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Maze Sentinel. Another Sky Sif. 
Geez, duplicate much, people? Accomplished automation. Faith unbroken. I like that simple art. That's kind of older school looking artwork. I like that. Nature's way. He looks upset. Ambitious Aetherborn. Sparring mummy. And Hecma Sentinels. Ooh, folks, we got two. We got two left. Fingers crossed. I'm not feeling super confident that we're going to get Power 9, but there's still hope. Jessen Thief. I can dig it. Eternal Masters. These guys must have opened a lot of boxes. You know what I mean? Calestria Night Witch or Calestria Night Witch. Thraven Fallbloods. That's been a fun card. Press for Answers. I want answers as to where the rares are in these packs. Reckless Racer. Long time no see. Collateral Damage. Another Sun Scorch Champion. Bloodlust Insider. Otherworldly Outburst. Okay. Feet of Resistance. That was... Okay. Press into Service. Uncommon. Support. Because you gotta have friends, you know? Just think, if this guy didn't have a friend, where would he be right now? Wearing that mask and looking for a Halloween party, probably. Faith Bear Paladin. Ninth Bridge Patrol. Because the eighth just wasn't cutting it. Ooh, that's some cool artwork. Mercurial Geists. I like it. Gip Her Guide. Lunark Mantle. Hyena Pack. Horror of the Broken Lands. I think this... Wasn't this reprinted at, like, double mythic invention rarity? I think so. All right, last but not least. Good thing we saved the last one. The best The best one for the last one. The last is the best. The best is... We're just gonna... Ooh, white border. Unlimited dual land. Here we come. Jess and Thief. Long time no see again. Looming Spires. Go away. Drag under. Enclave Elite. Ooh, a 7th edition Squall. I like that. Okay, okay. Daraja Griffin. Sacrifice Daraja Griffin. Destroy target black creature. Vicious. Another angelic gift. We're seeing a lot of duplicates. Disappointed. Unfriendly fire. Night market lookout. I always like these. Is Which one is this? Don't know. Point is, I like these borders, how they look kind of almost like 3D, speckly, just cool. Deadbringer Lampids, Night Snare, nice artwork. Ooh, Destined to Lead, Merciless Eternal, Decommission, Mystical Teachings, Rona's Stalwart, Oju dies, summons. I think I read that right. Blinding mummy. And decision paralysis. Wow. Wow. Okay, so if I had to value these cards, conservatively, I'd say at least six or seven hundred bucks. Because I'll keep the original wrapping that they came in, right? I mean, I'm not I'm not throwing these away. These are. I want to keep them legit. Keep them authentic. So yeah, if you're thinking of buying these dollar store packs, obviously there's a ton of value in them. And they're probably in there for a reason. That reason being they're trying to give the value back. So go out there and best of luck to you and your pack openings. Uh, you know, I don't know. But anyway, hey, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying this channel, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give a like, comment, subscribe. Let's be friends. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting at. Let's be friends. Cause if we're friends, then I'm motivated to make my friends happy and make you laugh. And I'm I'm just gonna quit talking. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good night. Peace.